Hello, Odd Job Viewer here. And if you have some, uh, you know, if you're gonna do some painting on some walls and you have some damage to them, like we've got here, some old screw holes and a little bit of a tore up, probably a little bit into the drywall and you know, a little bit to the paint, especially this big guy here. What you wanna do is get yourself some, uh, some compound, wall compound. I'll show you here in a minute. Mix this some water, makes a paste, a little thick paste here. And you get a you know a little plastic applicator and just kind of smudge it right over. You can have it raised a little bit because after this we will go back and sand it down. Oops, you know, get in there, smudge it down. And after you get this stuff in, smudge it down. Before you paint, you want to take a primer to go back over it with. And basically, that's how you take care of uh, some holes in your walls. This so way, I just put in a little bit more. I could have actually used some tape on this part, but uh, we'll see how it holds up. And uh, yeah, this this particular brand cures in about five minutes. And I'll uh, show you what I got here. All right, so this is what I'm using here: some uh, Westpac materials, uh, fast set. Uh, five drywall patching compound sets hard in five minutes. Use for taping and patching drywall, mixes quickly. Easy sand, non shrieking, all that stuff. It's great. I've used it for a lot of different um, repairs for drywall. This box is almost empty now. All I do is I crack the top open there and uh, pour a little bit into a can. And uh, they say use, I think, two parts of this one part water. I just kind of eye it and make a little paste. And uh, there you go. You put it in the, put it in the drywall. All right, and while that's drying on the wall, and um, before it dries in your little bucket, I like to come over and uh, do a little hip job here. And, uh, you know, you to use this bucket over and over again, and special too. And get in there and extra water will just dissolve. Definitely want the, the flexibility of a plastic spatula, play knife. This one's a two inch. Yeah, two inch is pretty good. Depends on the size of the, the, the hole you're working with. But um, you can also use one inch if it's just, you know, small like nail holes. Usually if you're patching up your, your drywall to paint, yeah, you want to, you, uh, I think, uh, how, how small? Maybe like a sixteenth of an inch might be okay to paint over. But anything over that, you, you probably want to put some putty, otherwise you'll risk your paint not covering the hole. There, that's cleanish. Cleanish there, yeah. And uh, set that for dry. And then we'll get this thing here going. And uh, next we'll uh, show you how to finish the rest of it up. As a word of caution, when you clean up stuff that's water soluble, that means that they could be broken down by water. And um, you're going to go down the kitchen drain. Do not. Go down this one. Not for the garbage disposal. That could probably, uh, you know, bad things will happen. So it's your normal drain. And make sure you flush it on through. And, uh, right. So we got that done. Now back to the wall. All right. You can see here we have some of the uh, compound with the wall. It's a little bit hard to see because this is white wall, white compound. But... And turn this taco here. Oh, not taco, sandpaper. This here's 120 grit. What you want to do is just kind of do some uh, circular motions right over this here. Knock off any um, peaks on it, maybe. And then a little bit down here, this one. There. Now that should be good to go. Don't go too deep, just kind of you know, sand it down. Next, what we'll you do is we'll hit this with primer and then just paint all over it. But um, before the primer, get some uh, sponge, water, wipe it down, let it dry, then you can prime, right? And then paint. And basically, it's just a quick thing here on how to touch up your walls to get them ready for painting. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. My job doer, out.